Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out another security update as part of the Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10. And it's the follow-up once again to the now infamous security update that rolled out early January as part of the January Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10, KB5034441 which is the update for the Windows recovery environment for Windows 10. And this update, 503441, as you may well know, caused massive headaches for a lot of users and was failing to install and caused a whole lot of problems. And I have a playlist on this update because it was quite a major issue. And I'll leave that linked in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now, the follow-on to this update is part of um, the... November patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 for this month and the latest security update is KB5048239 and Microsoft is starting to push these updates out now on a regular basis these security updates for the Windows recovery environment and the previous update that was installed was part of the October patch Tuesday updates which was KB5046400 which rolled out as part of um, October um, 2024's um, security updates for Windows 10. So Microsoft seems to be pushing this out now on a regular basis. And just a quick update as to what this um, update is all about. Now, first of all, Microsoft says that the update automatically applies safe OS dynamic update to the Windows recovery environment, WinRE for short, on a running PC. And the update also installs improvements to the Windows recovery features. So um, I'm just posting this video because the, these updates can cause issues. So I'm just giving you a quick heads up. Now, first of all, if you are not seeing the update, that's because Microsoft says the update will not be offered if the WinRE recovery partition does not have sufficient free space. And if your running PC does not have a WinRE recovery partition. So um, there's two examples as to why you may not be seeing the update. Now, Microsoft does say on a big side note, the update requires 250 megabytes of free space in the recovery partition to install successfully. That's, of course, if you have a WinRE recovery partition. And how you can check this is you just do a search for create and format hard disk partitions, which will open up this legacy disk management tool. And your... Windows recovery environment or um, partition will either be here to the front where mine is or here at the back. Mine's here to the front because I dual boot this machine. And mine is 900 megabytes. Now, Microsoft saying 250 megabytes of free space is nonsense because that's what caused all the problems with the update that rolled out in January where there wasn't enough free space. And those recommendations by Microsoft were not helping. So if you have the, the know-how, I always say, Make your recovery partition for your Windows 10 device at least a gig or somewhere in that vicinity if you really want this update to be installed. Now, with that all out of the way, something else to take note of is that the update is automatic. But if you do manage to get it before it installs, you can actually block this update. Okay, And I've posted a whole video on how you can actually um, hide the update sorry, not block the update, hard the update um, with the um, WinShow, kind of hard WinShow um, update tool by Microsoft. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because it did help a lot of users with the update that rolled out in January. Just hard the update if it's failing to install for whatever reason. And that should take care of it until hopefully Microsoft rolls out a fix. But at, at, at the time of posting this video, I'm not aware of any issues with this update. 5048239, but just bringing it to your attention because it is the follow on to that previous update which caused massive headaches. And um, that's rolling out as part of the Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.